Remember when entertainment was about fun? Uh, imagine that. A video game is for your fun, that you can just do things that are uh, fun and make you laugh and uh, that you can enjoy and that you can look at aesthetically uh, and enjoy. Not anymore. Uh, not anymore. Now it's a very serious business, and it's all about making sure the right politics are put in front of your face, and you better like it, bigot, or else. <laughs> That's where we're at these days. I mean, we've been uh, uncovering a lot of this since the Sweet Baby Inc. drama erupted. We found even more uh, consultancy firms going out there and destroying video games like this, destroying your entertainment, destroying your enjoyment, and there's no fun anymore. And another company just found out that they're not allowed to have fun. Uh, otherwise, they get hit with a little bit of a woke mob, and uh, they're bowing and censoring themselves, much like Stellar Blade. We're going to get into this news in just a minute. This is really sad, and uh, never, never apologize to the woke mob. Uh, I've been unapologetic since 2017, when, when I came out of the closet <laughs> as a Trump supporter, uh, and I got banned uh, from various conventions. Uh, I got blacklisted from publishing. Uh, I got uh, nasty warning letters from uh, from various uh, editors and publishers out there. You guys remember who you are. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to write my books and have fun anyway, and you're not going to stop me. And I've been doing so uh, over and over and over again. I've got 18 novels now, uh, 12 graphic novels. I'm a number one bestseller. And uh, it's been great the last few weeks. Thanks, guys. You've come in super hard. We've been selling like 20, 30 books a day uh, off our videos here. Uh, and uh, and revitalizing this old uh, uh, trilogy, which I made, which is amazing because I've been uh, sitting here brainstorming stories that are going to come out of this uh, for a lot of fun, uh, and I'm, I'm ready to start writing these. Uh, so this is a great time to get in. Uh, this is the Stars and Twine, the Eurasian War trilogy. If you like big space opera war, if you remember the settings like Mass Effect uh, before, <laughs> before they ruined it with Andromeda, uh, if you remember Babylon 5, this is going to be the book for you. You're going to enjoy this. Uh, it's going to be a great uh, series. We have this. It's a full trilogy, and it's done on audiobook. And uh, like I said, I'm going to be spinning off a new series uh, out of this very shortly. I'm, I'm finishing up a Space Marine comic book for my Warhammer 40K fans. And once I finish writing that comic book and handing that off to the artist, I'm going to be back to writing prose books again uh, and having fun. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, maybe I'll put some jiggle physics uh, in the text. <laughs> As she walked down the corridor, they jiggled at 50%. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're going to talk about this today. Thanks. This link's in the description below. Go check out my books, and thank you for supporting the channel while we report on these crazy things. And this is uh, this happened the other day. This is a, a game called Farm Folks, and they posted this on Twitter, which is just fun. Uh, they were just having fun on their account, laughing. Uh, you can tell by the, the emoji that it's not serious business whatsoever. Uh, they said, all right, folks, it's time for some serious game development talk. We're tinkering with character physics from farm folks. The burning question, which version has the perfect breast jiggle physics? <laughs> and uh, here they are. They, they had 50%, 90%, or 30%. Obviously, they put 50% first because that's probably where they, they really liked it. Uh, they made another joke uh, saying that the, you know they've got, they've got a version at uh, 150%. And if you go and look at the replies on this, uh, at least when you could... Um, they mostly had people interacting with this fondly. Uh, gamers enjoy fun. Gamers enjoy not serious business. It's games. Uh, and like you can tell, it's cartoony world right here. It's just silly. And uh, there's no reason to take this seriously. But there are a few vocal woke crazy people uh, ruined everybody's fun just like always. And this is the problem. And, and the main problem here is is listening to these people. Every time these people go off on these kind of tangents, they shriek, they cry, they call you bigots and racist and sexist and all the things. It's because they're miserable in their lives, and they want you to be miserable with them. They want you to fail with them, and that, that's that's what's going to happen. I mean, the, the poor farm folks who just posted this fun thing probably got some gamer attention on this, and probably some people were going to be like, oh, okay, maybe I'll play that game. These people seem chill and fun, and now they're, now they're going to be like, ah, uh, maybe not. Because they're bowing to the DEI ESG woke mob inquisition, the sweet baby ink style people who uh, are trying to harass these people, and 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 they did. Uh, Black girl gamers actually came on and made their little uh, comments on this uh, to try to go at these people, 
uh, and uh, that's who they listened to. They bowed to them rather than just going with their gut and having fun with gamers. And here it is, an apology for a silly tweet. Ugh, terrible. Uh, long apology as usual. Hey, folks, we like to address a recent post where we came to our community asking for feedback. Our intent is always to connect and grow with our players, but it's clear that we missed the mark on our recent community feedback post. For that, we sincerely apologize. Why do all these sound exactly the same? I feel like there's the same corporate PR person that just goes across. Like there's like a template apology letter for like, I'm a corporate goon. And, and <laughs> it's it's like, ugh, it's painful. It's painful to read. We received concerns about female player models breast physics in the past, and we thought we should ask the community what felt more appropriate. Come on, it was a joke. You know it was a joke. Unfortunately, this crossed a line. Oh, God. We try to foster a welcoming community, and the post and subsequent replies made many of our community members uncomfortable and alienated. Yeah, well, now all gamers are uncomfortable and alienated because you suck. <laughs> Reply made about 150% physics was also inappropriate. And we apologize for that. Why? Why Why, why, are, why is physics inappropriate? <laughs> we are taking necessary steps to learn from this, and we're committed to doing better moving forward. We value the feedback of our community and work hard to include everyone in our discussion, except gamers. Now, now you get out. If you actually liked this, and if you just thought it was fun, and if you were looking forward to playing this just because it seemed fun and silly, uh, no, you're not welcome. You're not included anymore. Only the people who are uh, those angry people screeching about Stellar Blade outfits and, and, and calling you sexist over it and trying to torch a game at Kotaku and IGN because uh, the game's good, but they, they're not allowed to have fun with this kind of thing. Uh, those are the only people who are included. Well, guess what? None of those people actually buy video games. Uh, none of those people actually buy these products. No, none of these people are there to have fun. They're paid shills of the corporate media, and the consultants don't buy these games. They're not gamers. Uh, they're not interested in these products. The people who are flipping out are not interested in these products. They never are. And so you're shooting yourselves in the foot over this. This is just going to destroy this game, and now nobody's really going to want to play this. So good good work, uh, indie, indie, indie developers. We value the feedback of our community and work hard to include everyone in our discussion. We want a game that feels alive, which is why we pay close attention to every aspect of our world, from how weather and time affect the world's characters to the interactive presence within it. We want everyone to feel included in the game's development, and we'll be reevaluating how best to interact with the community, as well as how best to ask for feedback from the community in the future. Yes, jokes are illegal now. D Jerry Seinfeld just talked about this, too. Uh, uh, on a, um, uh, here it is. <laughs> TV comedy is being killed by the extreme left and PC crap and people worrying so much about offending other people. This is it. This is exactly what Jerry Seinfeld's warning about. Uh, you just fell for this farm folks. This is the same thing. Uh, it's in movies and it's destroying movies and, and, and TV shows and it's in games and you're not allowed to just have fun in games anymore because somebody might be offended and that's where we're at. Uh, and so they asked for input, but it's, you know, it's not a, not a, not a lot of the, uh, input now how they've already limited their replies because they were getting negative feedback from gamers, uh, because now the only people they mentioned that can reply, they used to be able to reply, but they were getting ratioed on this because nobody wanted this for real. No gamers wanted this. You made a sincere community uh, post, a gaggle of toxic non-customers were incredibly rude to you by intentionally misinterpreting your words in the least charitable way possible. Now you're apologizing to them. Do I have that about right? Marsupial Gamer does have it right. Let's give that a like. Grums replied to this too, saying the correct response would have been uh, a 200% as another joke and completely make them lose their minds, at which point your game would have gotten 10x the support and visibility. This is a classic mistake. Never apologize. These people are not buying customers and will never buy your game if you give in to them. This is true because they already have labeled you as problematic uh, once you made that post. There's never a way back in with them. There's never a way to appease them. Uh, once you do apologize to them, they just see you as weak. They're not going to buy your game. They're going to label you bad person. And they're going to say, next time you just need to be better and maybe I'll support you. And they never will. Uh, I get this a lot when I uh, when I just speak the truth out on Twitter as well. I get people go, I'll never buy your books, you grifter. And it's like, okay, well, you know, if I was grifting, I'd, I'd just, you know, reinforce your confirmation bias and make you make you happy, right? 
uh, but I'm just posting uh, what I think, uh, and that's that's something else. Uh, and that person's usually never going to buy my books anyway. Uh, that the outrage brigade never does. The cancel pigs never do. And so that's where they're at. So you should never try to appeal to them. That's why I just try to appeal to actual readers. And that's why games companies should appeal to actual gamers. It seems very simple, but it's weird. It's like it's like they don't want the real gaming audience because they want a virtue signal to their friends in the industry that they're like above that or something like that. It, it's so demeaning the way that they treat you and us as customers. It's crazy. Uh, it, but, uh, you know, they're never going to learn. They're, they're always going to see it the hard way. And that's how you know it's never really about games or making money with these people. It's just about their political message and being in with the clout of the political structure of the mainstream media, the establishment, uh, and uh, Sweet Baby Inc. <laughs> Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. This is kind of worse than Stellar Blade, to be honest. I know it's an indie game, so it's uh, it's going to get a little bit less attention than that. But uh, this is crazy that that uh, that these people are apologizing and being censored in their games uh, because of uh, some some angry people on Twitter who don't even play games to begin with. Huh. All right. Grab the stars entwined. Enjoy your fun entertainment. Uh, we're here for fun. We're never going to censor ourselves. We're going to just write the books like that we see as entertaining and uh, do it for you. And I listen to you, the customers, uh, for feedback in this stuff. Not uh, not the woke mob. Uh, this is a pretty based book. I, I, I'll, I'll, uh, if you want to talk about the based subtext of it, I'll, I'll let I'll, I'll leave it up to you to discover because it's kind of subtle. Uh, go grab this on Amazon. That link's in the description below. Hit the like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.